You're listening to the Astromommy Daily Horoscope, a forecast that hopes to shine a light in the dark, helping us all see where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. Whether you're a first-time listener or a long-time subscriber, thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you being in the Astromommy community. I hope you enjoy today's horoscope and card reading. If you would like to support the Astromommy newsletter, there are several ways to do so. Subscribe on Substack, share it with a friend, schedule a reading, check out my family's Etsy shop, Metaphysical Flamingo, or just leave a tip. Without further ado, here is the Daily Horoscope. Today feels like we are waiting in line at the DMV. Moon and Gemini not aspecting anything. Daily Horoscope for Wednesday, November 9th, 2022. Good morning, friends. I have been having a hard time writing lately. Last week, the words were flowing, but this week, it feels like trying to crochet hats while a cat is unraveling the yarn ball. As soon as I think I have something cool to say, the yarn gets pulled and the whole thing unravels. Maybe this is normal. I don't know. Also, I found a typo in yesterday's post. Well, actually, my husband found it. I wrote the word massage when it should have said message. If you saw it, I hope you got a chuckle out of it because tapayos happen. My Tapayos Happen mug is available in the family Etsy shop in either black or white. Okay, let's get into the astrology. Today, the moon will move into flirtatious and talkative Gemini at 8.36 a.m. Eastern Time. You know the moon is in Gemini when you wake up talking, which I did not, and that is how I knew that the moon had not ingressed into Gemini yet. At the moment I am currently writing this, the moon is at 29 degrees Taurus, and she is void, of course, for the next hour or so, and she is moving slowly. And so am I. The moon isn't doing much today, actually, in terms of transits to other planets. Once she is in Gemini, she will not be void of course anymore because void of course is when the moon won't make any other transits until she ingresses into another sign. And that is not happening because tomorrow she will make a sesca quadrate to Pluto, a sextile to Chiron, a trine to Saturn, and a quincunx to Mercury. But today she is making no aspects, which is interesting. It's kind of like she is void of course, but not technically. So I feel a little bit like she's a free bird, flitting around with that Geminian energy of wanting to connect, socialize, and network, but she's not making any degree based aspects that signify those things happening. She is, however, co present with Mars and Gemini, and is also making whole sign aspects to Jupiter and Neptune and Pisces, and to Saturn and Aquarius. So there are relationships with other planets involved. I wonder if this day will feel like waiting in line at the DMV. It's like we know that when we get to the front of the line and it's our turn, it will be showtime. We're going to have to present our ID, maybe fill out a form and possibly take an eye exam. But today we are just waiting in line. I'm very curious about this. Please let me know in the comments or in the new chat what today feels like for you. Yesterday, Mercury opposed Uranus, and the sun followed suit early this morning at 4.26 a.m. Eastern Time. Remember, Venus just had her opposition to Uranus over the weekend, so whatever we physically are breaking out of or through with this transit, now it is time to experience it consciously. I'm hoping that this means an end to my writer's block situation. We've all been going through a lot of things, and we may finally be able to understand what they have all been about. Mercury and the sun will be squaring Saturn tomorrow and Friday, so that energy is building up, representing a possible new commitment, a serious responsibility, responsibility. And of course, whenever we're dealing with Saturn, there could be a test of some sort. The sun and Saturn can represent important father figures or authority figures. So there could be serious conversations that come up about serious things with important people in your life. I will talk about these transits more tomorrow, but this energy is good to be aware of. So all in all, today may be a weird day. Let's move on to the card for the day. What is the guidance for today? Far out, reversed. On this card, we see a big star surrounded by a few little stars. Far out is written along the bottom. Quote, what is happening has significance way beyond what you realize. The cards express appreciation and approval of what you're doing. Unquote. This card looks like the way I imagined the sudden explosiveness of Uranus to feel like. It's like we don't know what the wild energy will bring, but it's coming like a firecracker. Yet this card is reversed, meaning that maybe lightning fast insights are not coming right now. This could represent doubt. Maybe you are doubting what you're doing, what information is coming to you, or what opportunities are being offered. Maybe opportunities are not here yet, and you have your doubts about them coming. With the moon not making any aspects today, this could be a weird day where we are just waiting for inspiration to strike, someone else to make the next move, or the line to move forward and it to finally be your turn. This feels to me like we are having doubts and waiting. Well, what do you do when you have a long wait ahead of you? Let me know in the comments. I usually bring a book. How about you? I hope this is helpful. Until tomorrow, Astro Mommy. 
Today's horoscope was brought to you by the moon seriously doing nothing today in Gemini. Mercury and the sun opposing Uranus and squaring Saturn. Quick links and resources can be found at the bottom of the newsletter. Today's card is pulled from Morgan's Tarot, available on Amazon. If you purchase anything through the affiliate links that I provide in the newsletters, I will make a small commission, but there are no additional costs to you. I don't share or recommend things that I don't 100% believe in and use myself. Thanks for listening.